All right, thanks for watching. And today I'll calculate the value of the following sum, the sum of n over two to the n, which is just one half plus two quarters plus three eighths, etc., etc. And what makes this so nice, this is one of the rare sums that we can evaluate explicitly. It's almost like catching a shiny Pokemon in the uh, world of sums. And in order to do that, we will calculate a related sum, which it doesn't seem related, but then I will show you how to connect it with the answer. So let's calculate the sum from one to infinity of, you do one less in the numerator, but you do one more in the denominator. So that becomes, I think, zero over four plus one over eight, plus 2 over 16, plus 3 over 32, dot, dot. And let's do that rigorously, so let's calculate the partial sums. So let's calculate the sum from k equals 1 to n of k minus 1 over 2 to the k plus 1. And let's do a little trick that you like, there's no way it's going to work, but way it is going to work. Uh, namely, let's do the, let's add and subtract k from the, the numerator. So we do k plus k minus k minus 1 over 2 to the k plus 1. Here. And that becomes the sum from k equals 1 to n of 2k over 2 to the k plus 1 minus, if you want, k plus 1 over 2 to the k plus 1. Okay? <laughs> and then this simplifies to the sum from k equals 1 to n of k over 2 to the k minus k plus 1 over 2 to the k plus 1. Okay, that doesn't look very interesting, but then let's just write, write the first couple of values of that sum. So that becomes, let's see, so one half minus two quarters plus two quarters minus three eighths plus three eighths minus four over 16, dot, dot, dot. And then in the end, plus n over 2 to the n minus n plus 1 over 2 to the n plus 1. And lo and behold, notice that the middle terms, they all cancel out. Which means all that's left is the 1 half and the n plus 1 over 2 to the n plus 1. So 1 half minus n plus 1 over 2 to the n plus 1. So that is what the partial sum is. And then to find the value of the series, you just need to let that partial sum go to infinity. So you let, let n go to infinity. And then, well, one half becomes one half. And this, you see exponential functions grow so much faster to infinity than polynomials. So actually this whole thing goes to zero. And in the end, we get one half. And um, I know I'm being very hand wavy, but they ha have done a video on this before where I showed that, for instance, uh, any power of n divided by any exponential function uh, goes to zero. And therefore, what have we found? Well, we've, rigorous, we've rigorously found that the sum from n from 1 to infinity of n minus 1 over 2 to the n plus 1 is 1 half. Okay, very good. And the question is, what does it have to do with our actual sum? Well, notice the following. So step 2. Well, now we wanted to calculate the sum from 1 to infinity of n over 2 to the n. But then, what does that become? Well, that's the same thing as the sum from n 
from 1 to infinity of n minus 1 over 2 to the n plus the sum from n from 1 to infinity of 1 over 2 to the n. Now, how does that relate to this sum? Notice the only difference here, we have an n plus 1, whereas here we have an n, but that's not a problem. Let's just factor out 2 from this. So if one write this as 2 over 2 times the sum from n from 1 to infinity of n minus 1 over 2 to the n, and that just becomes, and you can plus this thing, sum from n equals 1 to infinity of 1 over 2 to the n, and that just becomes 2 times the sum from n from 1 to infinity of n minus 1 over 2 to the n plus 1, because we have a 2 and a 2 to the n here, plus this junk. All right, but then what do we have? Well, um, we just calculated that sum to be 1 half, so 2 times 1 half. And this is just a geometric series, 1 half plus 1 quarter plus 1 eighth, etc., etc., which just sums to 1. And then uh, what you're left with is simply uh, 2 times 1 half plus 1, which is, um, well, 2. <laughs>